Hi guys, welcome back. It's been a long time since I have posted anything, but we are moving. We are leaving in, what's today, Monday? We're leaving on Thursday morning at midnight. So not too much longer, and um, we still have a little bit to do. A lot of the house is already cleared out, but we are getting it all cleaned and ready to go. I have a U-Haul pod that took most of our stuff and um, the rest of it either went to Goodwill or friends and family or the trash. Um, so we are getting ready to do that or we are in the process of doing that. Right now I'm headed to school to get school breakfast for the kids. There's a few more days that you can do pickup of it. Um, before you have to eat it at the school. So they said on July 1st, the thing was changing and that you have to actually eat on premise. Um, but for now, you can pick it up and take it home. It's hot in Arizona. Like it is not even eight o'clock and it is already 87 out. There is no way we are sitting outside eating breakfast and lunch not we because it's not for me but um and actually it doesn't matter because we won't even be here when the rules change so that's where we're headed right now i'll show you that lady's like pulling away with her freaking car door open kids i don't care if you're all in we are leaving it's funny This, I just am sharing it with you because I think this is so different than the school that I went to um, in New York. Like, all the doors are outside. And they have like this courtyard that it's kind of built around. Like right there's the cafeteria and then you have to order your lunch from outside. Okay, so here is what the kids I don't know why he's always got to run the sink when he sees me turn on the camera every single time. This is what the kids are getting. Uh, French toast, bacon, they have maple syrup, apple slices, and then they can get juice or um, milk. Okay, so I have a pile of trash in front of my yard because bulk trash, and there was a bunch more stuff, but you see there's like one trash bag that came out of my daughter's room and like our bin is full, so I figured bulk trash, trash, you know, it's all the same. So people are like going through this stuff and looking, and there was this one lady going through the freaking bag of trash and then left it all like scattered around. I mean, fine, take my bulk trash, but don't dig through my trash and leave a mess. Come on. Okay, so as I'm backing out, because me and Lorenzo are going to pick up school lunch now, one of the downsides of moving is we have like no food in the house. So it's good at least that the kids get something to eat. So, as I was backing out, I noticed other things were gone, and I was like, oh, someone must have took them. So I'm backing out, and no, they didn't take it. They just had it all in the middle of the street, so I had to, like, go back and clean it up. I'm like, it's fine if you take my stuff, but do you really have to leave, like, a disaster that is going to impede other people's cars and, like, take apart desks so now that there's screws everywhere? Come on. Okay, school lunch was, or is cheeseburgers and tater tots. Lorenzo had a hamburger and he got fries, he ate them already. And then apples and then some juice. And then Xavier and I are having the delicious hot pocket. These are big and bold chicken at bacon ranch. Pretty exciting stuff, right? I thought this was funny though. Cook in the magical heating machine, AKA the microwave but these aren't that bad. And I figured it was better than um, eating out. But he's not walking. It was just running. It's 
pretty tiny. It's like a baby. Nice it's scared now because it saw us. But... Oh, you know what scared it? Probably when I opened the garage door. Yeah, but... It's not going to move now because we're scaring it. Don't don't do anything to hurt it, okay? Hi guys, welcome back. Um, today we are headed out of Arizona. Actually, we're just headed to the border of Arizona right now. We are leaving Arizona, moving to a new state, and I thought I would share the journey with you. So we are headed to Page, Arizona right now, where there is Horseshoe Bend. And I will take you there and share it with you. We're all doing a little sad right now. Um, leaving, but we will be better. Okay guys, we have made it to Flagstaff, which is a couple hours outside of Phoenix, north of Phoenix. There's my husband looking in at everyone. Um, but it has rained, and when I was looking at directions, there's a lot of flash flood warnings. So I think we're going to spend the night in Flagstaff tonight, just so we don't have to worry about driving through there. Gas in Phoenix when we left was 5.08. And right here, right now, it is 489. So I think we are going to see if we can find a place to stay and uh, spend the night here. How you guys doing? Was this watching? What are you watching? Um, we got the dog in here. She's right there. You see her? She's looking around. She is ready to get out. So I think we are going to find a hotel that's dog friendly and uh, spend the night. So it is 67 degrees here in Flagstaff. When we left Phoenix, it was 112 degrees. That is like crazy the weather difference, isn't it? Okay, where we are staying, it's across the street from Cafe Rio. And uh, we are in here waiting to get our food. These kids look excited. Are you guys happy to be eating dinner? What? Are you happy to be eating dinner? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we did an online order and now we're just sitting here waiting for it to come out. It's been quite a long time since we've had Cafe Rio. Like these boys were in high chairs, I think the last time we had it. 